Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising Monthly Tarot Reading for August 2018 So uh, before we start with the general one I want to tell you that if you want to go even deeper than the general one and you like that one you know uh, <clears throat> And you want to know specifically about your about Capricorn's career and the relationship? You can purchase the uh, extended monthly tarot reading from my website, written down below in the description of the video, for just as little as as one dollar. And in that video, there will be two spreads: one for career and one for relationship regarding uh, a Capricorn. Now, uh, that being said, I chose a seven card spread for you, Capricorns, for this particular month for August. And the first card represents the core of uh, not the core, but excuse me the um, carry on circumstances from the past for you that will be the Hierophant card uh, then we do have the um, the topic of the month this is going to be the world followed by uh, the aims you can have or what you can achieve during this month we have the devil card for you Followed by the best possible approach toward the situation here we have the nine of swords then is how the people were going to uh, not support you but let's say the attitude of the people which are involved into your situations we have the um, <clears throat> temperance followed by challenges to be overcome line of wants and last we do have the final outcome for you that will be the ten of pentacles so uh, guys the the um, <clears throat> the start of the month is going to be very powerful now this month is going to be about a new beginning for you that is because we do have the world as a topic and not just a new beginning but completion and after that completion you go to uh, obtain a, a new perspective for you to kind of channel your energy that is displayed by these three cards so you have taken a certain responsibility or you realize what you really had to do regarding career and regarding relationships looking the higher of next to the world here especially as a past circumstances I would say that you Capricorns let's say probably you have left a certain project you have banished certain people from your life or you have quit certain jo uh, certain job you know etc etc the bottom line is that you have found yourself that is the thing here and the carry on circumstances are saying that you you realize what path you had to take and now you are walking on that path and this month in august because we do have the world here a uh, let's say a, a cycle of this road that you are carrying on uh, or you're walking upon is going to um is going to be overcome so you will finish a certain stage and from there a new perspective will emerge for you soon in the sense of for example new job new project new person to be with etc etc but uh, you have to make a total completion what I mean is that you need to face afterwards whatever you uh, complete this month afterwards you have to face the world a uh, so-called naked this is an, an expression it means that the, the the past should not hunt you all right so everything has to be resolved with your ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend you know with a with a friend that you no, lo no longer wants to see so everything needs to be settled and everybody needs to know who is who now the devil card sitting there as what uh, your intention should be is saying only one thing you know that card represents the uh, the might to have what one wants so uh, and the power to achieve it all right it's not just the might but also the power to achieve it the way one wants it so you will have the power to force meaningful circumstances in your, in your life capricorns due this uh, due this particular month uh, now i do think that this is all about money and career because most of the cards are saying that all right there, there is uh, not much about um personal relationship so I do believe that your relationship life will not suffer tremendous ups and downs okay it's gonna be rather more um, <clears throat> peaceful but in career life these cards here are pointing that you can go for a, a very lucrative deeds 
projects, you know, uh, especially good uh, <clears throat> good month to establish your own private business if this is a, an aim of yours. And for what it seems with the Ten of Pentacles at the end, things are going to get even better, you know. But the uh, but the Devil card represents that eagerness, that 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 urge, that power, these primal forces that kind of like. Uh, dwells within and fuel our enthusiasm and this month you are going to experience the full force of those primal instincts and it is likely that you are going to realize where your hunger is are you hungry for money are you hungry for love and what you are capable to do in order to obtain it all right so you are going to realize that you are capable of literally anything and this is where the Nine of Swords falls. The Nine of Swords in your case is about realizing, you know, how, um, how much consequences your actions will have. So this is the approach toward the completion and, toward, and the attitude toward the new perspective. Because as I said, this, mo this month will be an end of a cycle and a starting of a new one for you. And... Uh, uh, you will be very mindful about, or you should be, because this is a how you should approach toward the situation, you should be very mindful about the consequences uh, of your actions. And also this card points that you need to face your fear, which is a, a sign that you need to lift the bar of your expectations a little bit, or the bar of your aims a little bit, okay? Because... Uh, Maybe you don't want to risk anything, but it doesn't have to come to any risk, you know. It's just kind of like being objective of, of uh, what you are capable of. And as I said, this month you're going to realize that you are capable of uh, great things. But the bottom line here, guys, is that you have to face your fears. And one can face their fears only if they try to do something they're afraid of. All right. So if you are afraid of to date a certain uh, type of people, then you may try to do it and you will be surprised that actually things are going to unfold favorably for you. You may be afraid to initiate a certain, you know, business project. Well, just try it out. You don't have to invest everything. Just just see how it's going to go at the start. I mean, uh, and you will kind of see that things can work out and they actually will so uh, it's it's all about you know how much guts you do possess and courage to um, throw yourself into a field never explored before so the attitude of the people around you here with the temperance card actually is very passive attitude they will not support you entirely but they will also not make you despondent they will not support you entirely because they will honor your um, your opinion even if for example you want to initiate something and your partner in life or your children you know or just the friends of yours are not very um, agreed with it they will honor your opinion <clears throat> and, they, and they will cause you no problems whatsoever and talking you with mental cruelty just so you can drop off uh, your activity here or not initiate it is a an obstacle all right so they will not cause you any troubles they will not cause you any obstacles they will not take a standpoint that is the that is my point here they will not take any side so with that sense it seems that you will be on your own with your things either um, career or relationship wise which I don't know it's, it's kind of like it's very passive guys I don't know if, the, if this is good or bad alright it's just <clears throat> the people will, will show solidarity and compassion toward you but in the same time they will not take uh, any place into your activities so if you uh, my, my point here is, is that if you fail uh, for some reason, the um, the guilt is it will be entirely upon you. But let's not talk about that right now. Let's just uh, see how the devil uh, interact with the temperance card. It does speak here that uh, people will uh, kind of like people will take certain standpoint that particular standpoint because in their mind will be what do I know you know I mean probably it's possible 
what do I know about it? So, um, my point here is, is that people will not want to, uh, to slumber your enthusiasm seeing, you know, how energetic you are about your goal, either being with, with a certain person or initiating a certain project into your career. It is just they want you to, to be happy, all right? And they don't want to cause any any obstructions regarding that. But the bottom line here is uh, for you to realize how powerful you are. I mean, I, I, I said a lot of words during that reading. But now that it comes to me, this month will be all about you realizing how powerful you are and you can be. All right. And also um, realizing the consequences of that power as well. Because with the great power comes the great responsibility, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, the challenges to be faced during that month, we have the Nine of Wands, and this is the challenge of um, patience. Patience and preparation. So it's kind of like uh, um, as soon as that new perspective emerges for you guys, you may find yourself very eager to jump into it without being prepared. And the one who is not prepared, for the storm that is coming, because everything is storm at the start, you know, everything has its its difficulties. And unfortunately, this card says that the one who who charges the storm unprepared charges toward its own destruction. And it's kind of like synergized with the devil card, because the devil card could be very positive when utilized correctly. For example, uh, you may be angry at your partner, that, that creates a, a big primal urge, you know, and instead of using that urge destructively to make scandals and to storm your relationship, you can redirect that anger towards your career and just be angry there and resolve your, um, your problems in a certain project, you know, kind of like uh, you need to traverse energies in order to be uh, to be able to kind of feed up your fear uh, to uh, to feed up your hungers <clears throat> but yeah uh, the the virtue here is about being patient and being prepared for what is coming and because we do have the nine of wands you will be forewarned quite uh, with a quite big uh, time frame for what is coming as a, an activity due, uh, due, uh, due august <clears throat> So you can prepare yourself accurately without being frantic about it. And at the end we do have the Ten of Pentacles here, Capricorns. It's just pointing, guys, um, the, the lucrivity of, um, you know, of, of your initiation. Ten of Pentacles also points that you will be able to earn your personal freedom. Uh, if in case um, you have uh, betrayed the trust of somebody that card points that you will be able to regain back that trust. But all in all the card points that the um, not important job but let, this job is important for you. All right, This activity is important for you. This card represents the success of uh, building up not small empire but personal estate so you will be able to build your personal estate either into your career or either into your relationship during this month using the primal urges and the primal power given to you by realizing how um how powerful you can be and finally finally utilizing it for your own personal benefits as i said this month is very productive is very potent for you establishing your own private business or taking control upon your relationship with the means necessary but again you need to know that the great power comes with a great responsibility and if you um kind of count on uh, uh emotional support uh, it is unlikely to face it, so you have to be. Uh, to, you you need to support your actions with personal determinations and personal convictions. If you want to, if you don't want to feel despondent about the uh, the unfoldment here. So, with that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.